Okay. So, welcome to today's class. Um, okay, so welcome to today. Um, a couple of things. Uh, so, a few uh, logistics updates. Uh, the first thing is, yeah, those projects, the registration was due yesterday. Okay. Who has not registered for the projects yet? Okay. So I, I figured that that's what, what was going to happen. So you have time until tomorrow to find a team and register for the project. I see two hands up. Yes. You first. Um, how do we register? Yeah. Okay, good. So, um, <laughs> send an email to that email address with names of your teammates, project title, and a short abstract. So the project was due, on, was due yesterday, but we'll, we'll give you a grace period until tomorrow. Okay, there was another question. If I submitted the project by uploading a PDF with those things to my uh, repository, does it also count as So um, our TAs will go through this, and I hope they'll find it, but I think you can make their life a lot easier if you also send that email. I'll send email. Okay, so thanks. Who doesn't have a teammate yet? Okay, uh, everybody who does not have a teammate yet, keep your hands up. Okay, so who has a team of size three? Size three? Okay, you guys raise your hands. Well, raise them high, otherwise. Oh, okay. Oh, so the thing is, if you, don't, if you have a small team, here are some teammates, some prospective teammates. Meet up with them after the class. Well, you just, if you, have a, if you have a team of size four, likewise, take on some extra team members. They all want to help, they all want to learn, so do that. Yes? Can the project title change? The project title can change, yes. So you could have an abstruse project title right now and we're not gonna care. So you can put as your project title, watching paint dry, okay. now. I wouldn't recommend that because it's a little bit silly, but this is really just to make sure that you even have a team, right? Now, in one month from now, there will be a short presentation of what you've been up to so far. Everybody gets five minutes or four minutes of embarrassment up here on stage, okay? By that time, you don't want to have watching paint dry in it anymore. Yes? Okay, so, okay, so let, me, let me go over, the, over this. So for tomorrow, all you need is names and a project title. And if you want to put a little abstract in there, it's good. If not, it's also okay. If you're short of ideas, that's what the TAs and that's what Mu and I are good for. We can help you. But you need to come to the office hours and we can talk about ideas. Or talk to your friendly lecturer here at UC Berkeley, who's maybe your advisor or you, you want to be your advisor, right? Or talk to some PhD students or some other fellow students. Or just pick something really cool, right? So we can help, but we're not gonna force you to do what we suggest, right? Okay, now within the next month, you want to get to more than watching paint dry. Within the next month, you want to have, and this is what we'll be doing two, in four weeks, a two-page document, up to two pages, at least one page, but no more than two pages, that describes what you're gonna do, some idea of how you're going to do it. You don't have to have done the research yet, but at least some idea of how you're going to approach it. Okay, watching the paint dry, okay, fine requirements, camera, video recording equipment, patience, right? Okay, and then you want to have some idea of where you're, for instance, going to get the data from or why it matters. So in other words, this is the equivalent of a pitch deck, right? And you get two slides at most, and yet most get four minutes because we need one minute for changing over. Okay, so if you get more done than that within the next four weeks, it's awesome. 
and I'd strongly recommend that you do because as the semester progresses, everybody gets busy. And then in the end, you have the end of semester madness, which, well, I guess means, given that you're not only taking this course, you will have to have madness from all the courses. Don't do that to yourself. Start early. Okay. I know we're all stressed puppies, me included, so um, guess when some of those slides were made, right? Um, so yes, uh, nonetheless, you're doing yourself a favor if you start early. I guess I'm not, I'm saying the obvious here. Um, homeworks. <coughs> so it turns out that people had lots of different ideas of how to name the homeworks. <laughs> and in some cases, several files were in the submissions folder. So um, this is maybe not exactly what happened, but something like this. Somebody submitted a folder containing homework version one, homework A, and homework updated. And uh, Rachel and Ryan had the questionable pleasure of having to figure out which of those three homeworks is now the one that you actually meant to submit. Uh, don't do that to your poor TA. Right? Because they will pick one and there's no guarantee they'll pick the right one. Okay. There will be some formatting instructions in homework three that are more prescriptive. Secondly, we'll put out the reference solution for homework one, which is essentially the Frankensteinish combined solution of well solutions that you submitted for the homework. The good news is wh whoever submitted it did actually really well, but not everybody submitted. Okay. Um, lastly, if you want to convert notebooks to PDF, you can go to Stack Overflow, you look at this slide which says IPython NB convert to PDF notebook.ipimb. This will give you a PDF. Yes, question. Correct. Uh, it, it's not really LaTeX, it's a HTML version of it. So when when we try to, well, at least when I try to, uh, try to do the IP converts, uh, the conversion will stop at the first exception that they have with the uh, LaTeX because HTML map Jax does not recognize some of my LaTeX. And then so what happens is my homework two gets mm. cut off Okay. Oh, okay. So, so a couple of things. Okay. So first of all, yes, apologies. Um, MathJax is not quite LaTeX. Um, there are certain equation environments and so on that it doesn't like. Um, there's not much you can do besides using Stack Overflow, which ones th those are. Secondly, um, so, but secondly, you probably shouldn't have 16 pages of solutions. That means you're doing a way too diligent job. Each, each question should, uh, it's, it's okay to have a reasonably concise answer. But kudos, that's, that, that's serious work. Okay, um, if you're really in a, in a fix there, submit that particular solution as LaTeX. Okay. So, you know, that's why it's okay to generate PDFs the only thing you need to make sure is that the PDF actually renders properly, okay. right? The other thing you can always do is you can just print from Jupyter. And so basically just, you know, use the print dialog of your browser and, and try that. That may work better. Um, one important thing is look at the PDF before you submit it. So some people submitted broken PDF. Um, you should check that in general in life when you submit PDFs, like for a conference or any job application, make sure that the PDF that you're submitting is legible. The homeworks are included in this. But yes, PDF is fine. Um, but overall, if you're submitting 16 pages of homework, you're, I mean, first of all, okay, it's awesome. Secondly, you're probably investing more time than we thought we, you were going to invest in the solutions. Okay. Right? But 
Kudos. OK, there were, there were, I think, one or two more questions. Yes? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Um, it should not export the, the plots as separate PDF files. Um, okay. Uh, I, okay. So, for instance, if I just use MB convert for rendering, it will not do that. So, so, so check your notebook conversion utilities. It should not. Export plots as separate files. Something is. No, no, I'm saying I exported a separate file. It didn't include the plot in my PDF. Again, that should not be the case. We can maybe talk about it offline, but uh, this looks like an error in your configuration. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, good. So, so far for logistics. <laughs>